Hello there and welcome. If you're watching us uh, online or on air, you are just on time for the guest. On today's edition, we are sitting down with the National Ambassador for UNICEF, who happens to be Cameroonian rapper and philanthropist Stanley Eno. He walks us through his commenced humanitarian work and his role as the UNICEF Ambassador. Hello, Stanley. Good having you. Yeah, how are you doing, sir? Good. Now, tell me, what does this mean to you, being a UNICEF Ambassador since uh, the month of August? Well, I mean, um, it means a lot. I mean, it's... Um it's we're very thankful but i mean it comes with with a very heavy weight as well because i mean it's it's um it's a huge task and mission you know but i mean it's really super beautiful because heavy is not in the terms of the weight but is in terms of the beauty the beauty and the magnitude you know what i mean to be able to work for kids and you know if you're working for kids then you're building a nation you are celebrated uh, in most parts of the world basically for your music style and other people too have come to laud sometimes your passion and your concern for humanity. What will you be doing as a UNICEF ambassador? Let's peep into this new facet of Stanley Eno. I'll be sleeping in my house all day. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, as a UNICEF ambassador, it's, um, you know, it's a lot of advocacy, you know, um, building and creating projects to make sure that the Cameroonian and the African youth in general has a proper um, um, access to health and education because that's my prior, prior concern is a very big concern for me even um, without being uh, even out of UNICEF as I've been um, been doing a lot of philanthropy and uh, you know um, we just have to make sure that we come with an organization that has leverage and has uh, more cases or has um, a platform where we can also come in and cheapen and help and you know it's uh, it's beautiful. Just the other day, Cameroon was uh, declared free from the white polio, and part of your um, crusade will be for, to have uh, people trust um, clinical procedures despite the pandemic which we are going on now. And uh, you, you mentioned earlier that uh, we still have some strains of this polio one, two, three in an earlier press conference. Can you walk us through um, this you trust you are about to bring out in the women and children out there? C'est vrai qu'il y a des souches. Like you say, there's some strains in the, um, um, you know, uh, poliovirus is, is a very, is a, is a deadly disease because for me, not only can it kill, but it can paralyze kids and make them not to speak and talk properly. So killing their dreams, even from very, when, you know, from a very young age, killing their mama's dreams as well, because, you know, uh, if a mom doesn't really sleep, you know, if your mom doesn't sleep, because the child can't sleep, then herself she can't even be effective, you know what I mean, in the society, then, you know, we make sure that, you know, with UNICEF, we have to, uh, we are sensitizing all the mothers out there so that they may take their kids, you know, um, from zero to 59 months to go and have them immunized so that they can be poliovirus free, you know, is, is, a, is a disease that is quite deadly, like I just said, and, uh, yeah, man, there's still um, um, a couple of strains, but I think that together, you know, if you tell a mother to tell a mother to tell another mother, I believe that by the end of the year or maybe a couple of years or a couple of months ahead, it's going to be over. Well, um, we understand that this is a phobia, which uh, the phobia of a hospital will not just die out within a sudden flight or quickly. What strategies have you earmarked to ensure that people uh, trust health facilities, knowing that should they go there, they won't contract uh, the pandemic? Uh, you know, um, uh, with UNICEF, we're trying as much as possible to um, create safe ground for families and moms we want to go and support the, their kids uh, in this whole vaccination campaign. I mean, um, the UNICEF team is going to be going from home to home in, the, uh, in six regions of the country, I believe. And, um, you know, um, it's really going to be easy. It's just, you know, it's from the 18th to the 20th. Yeah. And uh, you want to uh, be able to uh, um, spread the message in the world and the word to the moms out there, to the families and the dads to open the doors so that the kids can easily come, you know, into the homes and families and to to get the vaccines done. So, I mean, um, you might not necessarily go to the hospital, but the hospital is not dangerous. And one thing I want to tell everybody watching right now is that with the coming of coronavirus, coronavirus hasn't kicked out other diseases. 
there is still malaria, there is still typhoid, there's still diarrhea. So people have to be aware of the fact that, you know, uh, the polio vaccine is not here to kill kids. It's here to make them have a, an immune system so that they can grow in a better shape. And what is a nation if they want to kill the kids? So, but, you know, we can't, you know, I think it's super stupid people thinking that um, vaccines are, uh, especially against polio, is to exterminate the new generation. I mean, we can't, you know, we, 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 we owe it a duty. I myself as a, as a, as a positive and a reason and human being, you know, I, I can't join uh, causes that is going to eradicate my people. Instead, I want to see my people grow strong and strong every day. So I think that uh, all the moms watching, all the families watching should be aware that these vaccines, the vaccine them, not, not, not for kill when I pick in, for make sure, say, when I, we want to begin and grow fine because if we can grow, we get polio, then I die. Food not the worker, hand not the worker, you know, if you talk, you understand what I mean? Say, you know, so, um, me, mommy, them, me, papa, them, join, um, uh, UNICEF via my voice for make sure, say, me that begin and be okay because if begin and not be okay, then we will not get country. Yeah. And just before you, you go, uh, Stanley, it's difficult to separate Stanley, the artist, Stanley, uh, the um, Goodwill Ambassador. But what's up with you? Um, what's the latest in terms of your musical career? What's up? The sky. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, the sky is blue. And um, uh, we're dropping an EP very soon. We're dropping a couple of wild singles. And uh, we're trying to make sure that we sleep a lot in the forest to make sure that we have all those, the right djembe's, the right tam-tams and the right drums so that when we drop, it goes viral. I mean, it's beautiful music and it's more, uh, as usual, friendly content so that people may be super happy and super inspired. I think the African youth right now needs positive messages more than ever because we are at, you know, we are at a level or at a kind of um, uh, a moment where it's either we, we're taking a turn, it's either we fail or either we go on the right track, you know what I mean? So I think right now, as an artist, as a leader, I have to try as much as possible to uh, keep feeding my people with cute content. And I just want to use this opportunity to be, to give a, a big shout out to my team. I think it's the best that Cameroon has ever seen so far with an artist. And, uh, you know, it's, um, we just have to keep going and, you know, Read your ears, man. If your ears are not ready, man, go and buy cotton tige, go and buy, you know, because, you know, we're giving you some mad ass music soon, boy. Stanley Eno, the National Ambassador for the United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund, thanks for being our guest. Oh, man, I thank you so much for inviting me. And God bless the TV News and everybody behind the cameras, I see them behind the machines and everything, the beautiful new generation of all journalists that I see. I see them, they're so, pu they're so beautiful, and I can't wait for a beautiful and uh, better Cameroon. Thank you, and let's sit down again another time. Our programs continue.